started out by going to Dean now a couple of years ago and not being able to serve as a mentor because of job issues. Uh, and But just getting the chance to see these kids and just see that how much fun they were having and how much fun the mentors were having. And I just through that, you know, I prayed about it and just, and I, and I saw that, you know, this is something that I feel like I could do because it was something I didn't have as a youth. I didn't have Dean now. I didn't really have much of a youth group. Um, <clears throat> and I, I wanted one of these kids to have a better experience than what I did when I was growing up. And and so I served Dean now just last year. And then through that, I just got so close to these boys and just felt like I needed to continue on. So through that, I just wanted to start and get with <clears throat> the small groups. And, and in a lot of ways, I'm learning more about myself than these boys are learning about themselves. I'm growing in Christ and I'm coming cr closer to God just because I'm serving these kids and it's just a great opportunity to grow in yourself but also to grow for others and to give them uh, you know a great chance to come and be away from the hustle and bustle of everything and just to take a little bit of time out of their lives you know for an hour each week and you know a weekend here and there and uh, to grow cl closer to Christ. One of the main reasons or motivations that I serve with the youth is probably based um, on my own experience uh, with my with my youth group growing up, and um, I was really blessed to have a, a positive experience. Um, and I'm a huge proponent of the sticky faith ratio, where they talk about five leaders to one um, student, because that's the type of experience that I had. And I can easily name um, five women that invested in my time in the middle school and high school years that significantly impacted me. And um, their, their openness and their willingness to share their lives and not only the fun and laughter, but also their, their struggles and their hardships allowed me to see God at work in their lives. And it opened my mind to a whole new perspective outside of the middle school and high school world. Um, it helped me feel connected to a church body when I left to go to college and when I came home again, to have that familiar face, to have those people in my life that to have that support group I think you know one thing is there's a great support group you know it's you're not on you by yourself you know especially if you're going to help out with the D now weekend you have someone else there that's with you and you have someone that maybe you know you can be there to encourage each other um, which I think is always you know things are a lot easier when you know and you know God says you know I'm present when there's more than one and and there and praying and so <clears throat> being that you if you have that oh my gosh I can't do this by myself it just rem I think it's a good reminder that you're not by yourself someone is there with you the youth aren't looking for perfect um, I, I think I got more out of of learning from my leaders mistakes um, because they're human and real and it actually felt like they valued me and my opinion when they shared that with me. So don't come to the youth thinking that you have to be perfect and have your lives together because um, it, they they just want to share their lives with you. So I'd say everyone's qualified.